Functional earthing, definition, meaning, example. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an electrifying topic that's bound to spark your interest, functional earthing. I'm your host Yuri, and together, we'll dive deep into this crucial aspect of electrical systems. So, functional earthing or functional grounding, in US, is an earthing for functional purposes other than electrical safety. Functional earth, earthing of a point or points in a system or in an installation or in equipment, for purposes other than electrical safety, such as for proper functioning of electrical equipment. This term is defined in the BS 7671 2018 plus A2 2022. The process involves establishing a connection between the equipment's functional earth terminal and an isolated earthing arrangement that is ultimately connected to the protective earth via a single point. To define a clear borderline between functional earthing and protective earthing the following explanations are given. Functional earthing, if any connection of the functional earthing is interrupted, it does not impair any kind of protection or any kind of protective measure or protective provision provided for electrical safety. Therefore, its application mainly relates to communication, measurement and electromagnetic compatibility EMC. Protective earthing, if any connection of the protective earthing is interrupted, it impairs the protection or the function of a protective measure or protective provision provided for electrical safety. Functional earthing explained. The most common type of earthing we see everywhere in electrical installations is protective earthing. Its main function is to protect people from electric shock and equipment from failure in an emergency. But there is another task for which earthing is necessary to protect equipment from parasitic interference. It is a low current disturbance, not capable, in general, of damaging equipment or affecting the health of people. However, the absence of such earthing, referred to as functional earthing, leads to the occurrence of unpleasant background noise in loudspeaker equipment, malfunctions in communication systems, etc. Functional earthing must be placed as close as possible to the object to be protected. This is because this earthing is designed to protect against high-frequency interference, among other things. Functional earthing is basically equipotential bonding. This is the discharge of coupled transient currents that build up on screens, or a FE function in device parts for people with non-dangerous voltages. The same applies for couplings on the ground leads inside equipment. These, too, must be safely discharged. If a functional earth is required for certain equipment, for example measuring and control equipment, supplementary protective equipotential bonding shall be provided between all exposed conductive parts and extraneous conductive parts inside the location and the functional earth. Equipment may be provided with means for connection to earth for functional as distinct from protective, Purposes only where such a need is recognized in the relevant IEC standard, e.g. for EMC purposes. Such means shall be Insulated from live parts and Insulated from exposed conductive parts except where exposed conductive parts are connected to a protective bonding terminal, e.g. in case of PELV equipment. The means for functional earthing shall have a marking or other identification in accordance with IEC 60445. Functional earthing and functional equipotential bonding for information and communication technology equipment and systems, ICT. A functional equipotential bonding system may comprise Functional earthing conductors Functional bonding conductors a main functional earthing terminal. Where the functional equipotential bonding system is not locally connected to the protective equipotential bonding system, the functional bonding conductors shall be insulated and installed separately from the protective conductor and connected to the main earthing terminal only once. Note, the functional bonding conductors are insulated because those conductors could under certain circumstances achieve a dangerous potential. If there are multiple functional bonding conductors present in the electrical installation, a separate main functional earthing terminal, MFET, shall be installed for ease of connection for these conductors. The main functional earthing terminal shall be connected to the main earthing terminal only once. 
the cross-sectional area of every functional bonding conductor or functional earthing conductor shall be capable of withstanding all mechanical and thermal stresses caused by the expected operational current. This current shall be determined in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions or by measurement taking into account the ICT equipment or system. Minimum cross-sectional area. In the absence of requirements, for example stated by the equipment manufacturer, the following minimum cross-sectional area shall be applied for functional earthing conductors and functional bonding conductors. 2.5 square millimeters for copper or 16 square millimeters for aluminum if protection against mechanical damage is provided. For square millimeters for copper or 16 square millimeters for aluminum, if protection against mechanical damage is not provided. Note, larger cross-sectional areas can be specified for EMC reasons. If part of an item of equipment can be removed, the functional bonding conductor for the remaining part of the electrical installation shall not be disconnected. Main Functional Earthing Terminal, MFET The following conductors shall be connected to the Main Functional Earthing Terminal, MFET, if any. Functional Earthing Conductors Functional Bonding Conductors The main Functional Earthing Terminal, MFET, and the main Earthing Terminal, MET, may be combined. Functional Earthing Example Where there are problems in existing building installations due to electromagnetic influences, the following measures may improve the situation, see, see the figure on the screen. Figure 1 Illustration of measures in an existing building. The figure shows the functional earthing conductor. Thank you for joining me today on this enlightening journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more electrifying content. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.